Hello friends, welcome back to another video. If you're new, hello, my name is Sheila. Welcome to a self-care vlog because I am very much in need of a self-care day, a self-care weekend, a self-care season, and I got bangs. I have also gotten a haircut. I got my haircut last week actually, and I've been pretty quiet on like social, so I think I finally decided to show up and share the news of my new hair a few days ago. So yes, I have been thinking about getting like straight across bangs, fringe bangs, Taylor Swift bangs, whatever you want to call them bangs, for a few, not a few months, like a few weeks. It's something that came up recently and then my therapist got her got bangs and then I was just seeing all these people that I really get inspired by get bangs and was like let's just do it because I knew I wanted to keep my hair this length um I was due for a haircut you could probably tell by how ridiculous my hair looked and I was at the point where I was just tying it up because it was just totally in my face so I was due for a chop for the past like three years I just been getting like my hair like at my shoulders and like that was kind of the look that I was doing like a, a long bob a lob whatever you want to call it and I want to do something different because we're in the year of the tiger you know it's a new it's a new season and I have new energy within me and I wanted to switch up my external body <laughs> I wanted to switch up my externalness to kind of reflect the energy that I'm cultivating and harboring inside of me so this is the look and actually my bangs look way better when i actually wash my hair i'm due for a hair wash because i wash my hair once a week and i haven't washed it since i went to the salon <laughs> so they look a little like thinned out but they look a lot fuller when i actually have washed cleaner hair anywho i'm really excited for this video we went to a coffee i say we like we collectively but I went to a coffee shop and it was so it was so needed I, I never went to that coffee shop before and it was just a pleasant experience I got to do some reading I got to do some sketching some people watching some chilling some relaxing and the coffee I got was really good I got a lot uh hazelnut latte with oat milk and i don't know i feel like going to and supporting local coffee shops can be hard because the coffee just doesn't taste well let me know if you can relate at least the coffee shops i go to it's really hard and since moving to this area which was during the pandemic i haven't really been able to get out and explore a lot of coffee shops or places really because i've been hibernating i've been at home being a hermit because covid and also just I feel so comfortable in being at home that it's very hard for me to get out of that comfort zone. And this is something I've been talking about with my therapist recently about just trying to get out more and doing doing things for myself. And this was another thing that came up this week in a group that I'm in called the Rebel Rhythm Society. And I will link it down below. It's a free community hosted by my friend Allie, who's a wonderful human being. Her thing is like psych, uh, running a aligned business that's in sync with your cycle if you're a menstruating person. I think I've mentioned her community before because that's the one place I hang out and I went to a Zoom gathering, um, a hearty hangout this week and we talked about romanticizing your life. That was kind of the prompt, the theme for February and I thought it was so magical <laughs> because when I was planning out my 2022 goals this year I was one of the things I wrote down was that I just want to romanticize my life more this year so I really wanted to go to that hearty hangout and we chatted all about romanticizing our lives and it was something like the definition of romanticizing my life I kind of had to like work through so I want to try and romanticize my life as well in this video and hopefully inspire you guys to take some extra steps to make your life and your daily routines special by romanticizing your life. So I romanticized my morning by going to a coffee shop and I loved it. I loved every <laughs> second of it. So yeah, I'm also like taking myself on a solo date, I guess today because George is at a Magic the Gathering tournament doing his thing and I'm on my own for the day and then tomorrow is actually, well two days is actually Valentine's Day. So George and I are gonna go on a little 
do a thing tomorrow. We're gonna do our like Valentine's date thing tomorrow and I might take you along because we're gonna go book shopping, but to be determined. But anywho, today I wanna go get some food. I think I'm gonna go get a poke bowl um, and maybe eat outside. It's really warm. I feel like this is the perfect weekend for just self-care time because Yesterday I went for a walk and it was so magical. So yeah, this afternoon I'm gonna go get some lunch and then I know I want to go book shopping or book browsing of some sort and I wanna do some kind of shopping. I want to get some new clothes. It's just been something I've been thinking about as I try to match up my external-ness with my internal energy. So gonna try and do some shopping and I don't know. I don't really have any expectations at all for this day because this morning I had to surrender all expectations because I originally wanted to start this video off by going and getting an acai bowl and I went there and I forgot my wallet and I was like 20 minutes from my house because I dropped George off at his tournament and then I just couldn't get the acai bowl and I was really excited for it and then I came home and I was just kind of you know sad and upset that my day wasn't going the way I wanted it and did some journaling had to kind of just recenter and surrender all expectations and then I feel a lot better now going to the coffee shop definitely helped so yeah friends welcome to this video grab a cozy seat cozy beverage let's go get some lunch and do some book shopping clothes shopping who knows what we're gonna get into let's go romanticize our lives <laughs>
giving me a trip right now but it is the next day yesterday was such a fun day despite getting my period and today is actually valentine's day happy valentine's day if you celebrate and i wanted to quickly do a book haul because beneath this frame are a lot of books and I am not exactly proud of all the books that I have acquired this month, but I really wanted to share all of these books with you because I'm really, really excited about all of them. And I think before I got these books, I was in kind of a reading rut, like inadvertently, not officially. I don't know. I just wasn't excited about any of the books I physically owned. There were a lot of books on my TBR that I wanted to read, but I had to acquire them. So I feel like this vlog has turned into like me promoting self-care as going out and buying things and it is far from that friends which i think you all understand it just turned out that for me taking care of myself this weekend involved me going out and spending some money and getting some books and getting some new clothes and i think that is all perfectly fine and healthy let me take a sip of lemon tea so again i'm gonna quickly go through these and try and be very concise with what the book's about just so you have an idea but not to go super in depth or this video will be incredibly incredibly long but here is the stack <laughs> oh, like i said i am not proud but i am so excited to read all of these books <laughs> let's let's dive in okay i'm gonna kind of go in chronological order of how i acquired these books because that's just my archivist librarian brain thinking so first things first we went when we went shopping the first time to Reads and Company, I have just, I just recently went to that bookstore, um, I think last week and wanted to go back again to get a book because I saw this book, Daughter of the Moon Goddess by Sue Lin Tan there. I, I had not seen it. I saw it in the staff pick section. It was a new, it's a new book that just came out and I was instantly attracted to the cover. And then once I read the plot, I was just like, I need this, I need this. And I didn't buy it that first day because I wanted to see if my local bookstore, the one closer to me had it, which they did not. So I ended up going back and getting this book, took you along, but this is a fantasy book that uses a lot of Chinese mythology. And I'm just gonna leave it at that because I feel like that's all you need, but I'm incredibly excited to read this book. I think I'm gonna read this book in March. So make sure you're subscribed to tune in for a reading vlog for this. I wanna do a reading vlog for all these books, but that's gonna be a lot of reading vlogs. So that's my first book, friends. The next book I got is um, Harlem Shuffle by Colson Whitehead. I read The Underground Railroad by uh, Colson Whitehead and loved that book. I read that a few years ago and haven't read another book by him since. And this book just came out, I think, last fall of 2021 and it's been something i wanted to read just haven't gotten my hands on it so i picked this up i actually just started reading this book this weekend so you can see i've made some progress on that it's really hard for me to try and describe this without going into like a five minute tirade but it takes place in the 60s in harlem new york about this man who is in between being like a good guy and a bad guy and how he makes money and supports his family and given the new york backdrop and colson whitehead's just amazing writing i feel like that's all you need so yes the next books i got yesterday when george and i went on our little book shopping date and i got my free glass of wine which was amazing the first one that i decided to get was she who became the sun by shelly parker chan i've been wanting to read this book for a while and it just never the stars never aligned and we went to the bookstore yesterday and George was treating me to some books, so he got me all of these books. Thank you, George. And actually, this came with a signed book plate, so I have an amazing signature of Shelley Parker Chan. And I'm just going to say this is a fantasy book that takes place in Asia. I don't know if it's a mythical Asian empire, but that's what we're working with. And it give, it's giving me Jade legacy, Jade war vibes. I just need more of that. And actually I have another like Asian fantasy book too here. So I just, it's my, it's becoming one of my favorite genres after <laughs> historical fiction. So very excited to read this one. The next book I decided to get was Breaking the Mafia Chain by Annie Domingo. I 
had this on my TBR already and it was in the new section at the bookstore yesterday and I was just drawn to the cover and I was trying to pick out another book that I wanted to get on our book date and picked this one up, started kind of reading through it and read the first chapter, not the first chapter, read the first page while we were sitting there sipping my wine and I was like, let me get this book. I actually wanna read this book ASAP. It sounds so good, but it's about two sisters and I believe it's based on a true story as well, but two sisters who were separated coming over from Africa in the Middle Passage during the time of slavery. So they were both captured and enslaved in Africa and being brought over to the United States. And then they are separated once they come over to the US and go on about their lives separate from each other. And this is, you know, a story about that. So I am very excited, very, very excited to read this. And then the final book that I got is like a graphic novel called Tide Song by Wendy Shu, And this was like a very random thing I got from the staff pick section because the bookstore was doing a buy a certain amount of, spend a certain amount of money, get a free gift certificate. So I was like at the threshold of needing to spend like four more dollars to get $60 and decided to get this because I was drawn to the cover and then the art work is amazing. So cute, but it's about this girl who's a witch, but she's not a great witch. And her family sends her off to magician school and a magician academy. And the kind of interesting thing is that her family is like their magic specialty is working with the oceans and like summoning like dragons from the ocean and water, which you get a kind of idea with the cover. So that was amazing. I love the artwork and I actually started reading it last night and really enjoying it so excited for this one all right the final three books are my book of the month picks that actually just came in the mail today i've been waiting all week because i'm so i was very delayed in ordering my books my first initial pick for this month was peach blossom spring by melissa Fu, which is a multi-generational family story looking at Chinese immigrants. And it originally starts out with a mom and son who come over to America from China around the time of World War I. So they escape China while it's being attacked by Japan and come over to America. And then the son grows up and he is older and has a daughter. And the daughter is interested in learning about her culture, but her father, who was the boy who came over from China, doesn't want to talk about his past and I just love that and really want to kind of explore more of my you know culture and just Chinese history and ancestry and thought this book was amazing. My next pick is Black Cake by Charmaine Wilkerson which was something that I wanted to read ASAP and was very impatient waiting for my book but the plot's really interesting. It's about two siblings whose mother dies and passes away and leaves an interesting inheritance for them which is a black cake and that's kind of all I'm working with at this point so sounds really intriguing and I realize a lot of the books that I picked uh, circle around the theme of like family and heritage which I'm all about and very excited for this book and the final the final book of this haul is The Personal Librarian by Marie Benedict and Victoria Christopher Murray, which is based on a true story of a woman named Belle DaCosta Green, who was J.P. Morgan's librarian, which you had me at librarian, <laughs> you had me at true story. But the cool thing is, is that Belle DaCosta Green was actually a black woman who passed as white, and this kind of just chronicles her life as a librarian passing as white, but is actually a black American woman. So just all these different themes that I really love and I've been wanting to read this book for a while. So I decided to just pick it up now and try and read it for Black History Month. So with that said, I thought I would also share my February TBR while I'm here because we're here. <laughs> okay, so I've only read one book so far this month, which was Beautiful Country by Shen Julie Wang. I just finished this book over the weekend. So I have, I am one book down. My goal was to read four books for February. So I should be on track with that. Next book, of course, is Harlem Shuffle by Colson Whitehead. I've already started this book. Goal is to finish it at the end of this week. And I also want to start another book this week, which will be 
black cake and then I'm kind of in a toss-up on my final book Let me know which one you think I should read and it might also come down to just how I feel But I'm in between the personal librarian and breaking the mafia chain. This was my original TBR pick before I got this book yesterday, but I am more excited to read this book for some reason. So we'll see how I feel, but let me know, which one would you rather read right now? Personal Librarian or Breaking the Mafia Chain? Let's have a poll down below and then we'll see what I actually end up picking. Then we're going into March, friends, and I feel like I already have a March TBR lineup, but I will, I will save, I will save you from listening to me rabble, rabble, ramble, on because books is self-care books are self-care <laughs> books self-care this has turned into a very bookish self-care vlog and i am so happy you joined me let me know down below ways that you are taking care of yourself this month or this season i know it's again february is like a month of of love and romantic partner things but let's do something for ourselves share one thing that you're doing to take care of yourself this week, today, this month. And thank you friends, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Especially if you want to see how I feel about all of these books because lots of books. Um, but yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!